Welcome back to KK's Quilt Studio. Today's topic has been a question that's been asked a lot in a lot of online art and stitch forums and I've gotten some uh, email questions on it. Can I or should I convert an embroidery design to a quilting design? How do I how do I do that? Well, the short answer to the question is, well, yes, no, and probably definitely a maybe. So what do you mean? Well, we're going to try and answer that today, looking at several different machine embroidery uh, designs. And I'm lucky enough to have not only a long arm, but a um, embroidery machine. And here's a design that I brought up from, this is an old baby lock card. Um, I brought up this design and opened it up in Art and Stitch when I convert it over. So uh, once I have it open, I can select the design. But if I go to my reshape tool, You'll notice that I uh, can't. I'm, I'm clicking on it, but it's it's not selecting. And also, my back to artwork button is grayed out. So what 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 am I doing wrong? What what's the matter with the program? Well, nothing. But when I open this design, um, note over here that you should have these three boxes checked. So. Number one, when I click on a design, I should have um, the preview box selected. So that brings up the design in the little preview box. I should also have, and most importantly, clicked the convert to outlines. That is why my reshape tool was not working. Also, I want to open it as untitled. Yes, I know that this uh, design doesn't tell me it's it all it is is numbers so it doesn't tell me what it is but I don't want to override my original machine embroidery file so it's a good idea when you're working with already digitized designs to go ahead and open it as untitled and give it a new name so I've already opened this design in the next slide and I can select on this one. I can click my reshape tool and I get a preview of the nodes. So if I want to reshape this design or make changes somehow to the design, I can do that. And you'll notice when I go back to the select tool that also my uh, back to artwork tool is highlighted and that's important that um, I click on that so now in my sequence view, it doesn't show uh, stitches, it shows artwork, and my reshape tool is active. So now I can go ahead and make any changes that I need to this design. When I'm done, go back to select, resign the, stitch the stitches, and then of course my sewing simulator is active. So I can take a look at this design, watch it sew out, and it looks good. It looks like a continuous design, but that is what this design was intended when it was digitized originally for machine embroidery. It was, as I said, it came from a quilting card. So there are instances where you would do quilting on your embroidery machine. And this is how this uh, design was intended. It was for use with quilting. So it is a good candidate for converting to a long arm design. This next design was a, came from a blue work collection. And this design is different uh, in that if we click on the sewing simulator, there's a lot of over sewing. Um, like I said, this the intent of the design was for blue work or red work. 
So when the designer created the design, she probably intended that it uh, re-sew over certain areas so that they stood out a little bit more than if they were just a single run. If I go back to my select tool and select her again, I can go under properties also and see that this is a single run. Sometimes blue work or red work designs are also designed as a double run, triple stitches, uh, which are which is a bean stitch. Um, in rather than going back and forth over, so you will need to check what kind of um, sew out that this embroidery design does. If it's single run, of course, that's what we want for uh, our long arm systems for quilting. Also, we want to check out the height and width of this design. Is this appropriate for the situation in quilting that uh, we're going to want to uh, use this design? When I um, go to reshape, I turn this back into artwork, I may want to take out some of the ruffles. I may just want to make this a straight line and also take out some of these design details in her hat. So simplifying the design is also a, something that I would want to do uh, before I converted it over to um, a quilting design. In this next selection, this is a design that I believe I downloaded from a program called uh, Quilt Pro, and um, I am signed up for a weekly email that they send out designs. Quilt Pro is another quilting design program similar to um, Electric Quilt. So uh, one of their freebies is that you get a uh, block design or a quilting design as uh, four times a week. And you can see if you go to their website um, and you click on these days, these uh, designs are available for download. But this is, sometimes I get ideas from this program, so I thought I would throw it in here. But uh, this was one of the designs I uh, digitized to uh, machine embroidery. So this is not a, a quilting design right now. Um, one thing about quilting and embroidery machines is detail. The embroidery machines... Um, are better able to do these small details like this uh, the stamen on this hibiscus and the back and forth um, details of the flower. This is probably uh, easier for the embroidery design embroidery machine to uh, create something like this. Uh, but in my long arm system, if I were to convert this to a, a long arm design, I would want to slow my machine way down. Uh, just remember your long arm machine is not really an embroidery machine. It's, it wasn't designed to do uh, quite the details. So I might want to simplify this design before I transferred it over to my long arm system. In the next example, this is clearly um, an embroidery design. These are details. If I turn on the 3D, you'll see that there are fill stitches, there are satin stitches, highlight stitches. So this was clear to, clearly designed uh, to be an embroidery. But um, it does have an outline that I would be able to use in quilting. So if I click on the little eye to turn off or hide these other embroideries, 
I can get a preview of what it might look like. Now that I have that um, outline isolated, I can go back to my reshape tool and I can see that there are there is a, a weird jump stitch in here and I want to delete that so select the point and hit delete on your keyboard and then I can find that green start and drag it over here and then let's see and then click on the reshape that that looks a lot cleaner so I save that to stitches preview what it's going to stitch out and I, I do get some uh, restitching and over stitching but for the most part that looks like a could be a usable design one last thing I want to go in and check go under properties again yes it's a single run so I could work with that and make it a usable quilting design so I hope that uh, this answers some of your questions gives you an idea of what to look for in machine embroidery designs that might make them uh, a good candidate for your next quilting design. And if you like this video, like my other videos, uh, give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Um, it helps me know that you're watching and enjoying and um, you're looking forward to me bringing you more answers on questions that you have. Um, don't be afraid to send me an email for uh, an idea of your next um, question. And I wish you all happy sewing.